What's going on, YouTube? It's already here, Brad Pagetti, and with another video today, we're bringing you another um, Pokemon Go Master League Go Battle League set. Today, I'm running Kyogre, Melmetal, and Togekiss, doing a little bit of something different today. I um, just wanted to try different teams. I actually had a really bad week with, uh, when it comes to Pokemon Go. Like, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday were just really bad. I actually tanked pretty hard in terms of rating. I lost, like, half of what I've gained over the first three days or four days of Master League, which was, yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I went up, like, 270 rating. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I went down 100. So I I've, I've pretty much still technically am up 100 plus, but I still, like, lost over 100, which is pretty uh, sad. But I'm trying to get back into it. I'm still, like, in rank 8, like, in the like the 2300s area. Really close. I was really close to 2500, but unfortunately uh, tanked a little bit. But again, we're gonna get into this video right now. Hit play. So I'm running, like I said, Kyogre as a lead. Trying out something different. He leads with Kyogre as well, so we have a mirror match going. He actually has a better CP one, so I don't know. I don't know if he wins the tie or not. He definitely wins the CMP tie, so he probably has like a 15 attack one. He probably has like a 15, 15, 14, something like that, I would assume. He hits me with the surf. Obviously, don't shield it. I'm going to save my shields for uh, the end game in this situation. Unless I see him over tap uh, waterfalls. For a thunder, which he does not do, I, I, so so I end up winning right here. This CMP tie, I think he overtapped by accident. Maybe he tried to like bluff me on a thunder. Again, I choose not to shield. Get again another surf. Now right here, I, I notice I'm like I have a little bit more health than him. So that's what made me assume that I was going to win with 1 HP in the dream because even though he had a better CP than me, I just I just in my head I'm like I I think I can outlast him cuz mine my Kyogre is a 98% with 14 attack, 15 uh defense and 15 HP on my IVs. So I'm able to do that. So he okay, so I switch into Togekiss, he switches into Heatran. He had Dragonite, I went to Togekiss obviously. He switches to Heatran, I switch into Melmetal cuz I'm like, "Oh crap." So this is this is where it becomes an interesting situation here. I'm kind of this is actually a nerve wracking game right here. Goes for the flamethrower, obviously shield it. Go for the superpower. I'm like screw it. I'm just gonna go for the superpower. It'll be super effective. He he does shield. I probably should have baited with the rock slide, like looking back on it, but unfortunately I did not. I go for rock slide now because it will do neutral damage in this matchup. He ends up shielding it again. I have to shield because I want to get off this other superpower. Yet again, flamethrower. Obviously, Heatran's actually really good. I you don't see it a lot. So he actually switches that back out to Dragonite, which is very unfortunate for me. So it's no shields versus no shields right now. So, I, you know, obviously I bring back out the Togekiss. I go for the switch. Ancient power. And I get the boost, and I was like, oh, my God. I, there's a good chance I win here now because I got the boost. He, you know, obviously goes for Iron Head. Charms are chunking despite it being uh, resisting. I go for another ancient power here because it's just going to be neutral. And I'm able to win with one HP in a dream. Shout out to ancient power for the boost. I would have lost that game 100% if... I would have lost the game 100%.
All right, so we have Kyogre on game two. Against Melmetal, this is a favorable matchup for me. I'm going to eat the Rock Slide. Go for Surf here. Gang Edges is neutral versus neutral matchup here. Nothing, uh... So he ends up actually blocking, and I was like, huh. So I get a shield from him, at least. That's pretty good. I yet again opt to not use one of my shields. He ends up switching into Dialga. And now switching to Melmetal. This is just going to be an Iron Head. This is a best buddied uh, Dialga. Got to watch out for that. Pretty powerful. Diaga is clearly the best Pokemon in, in Masters, in my opinion. I'm over tapping here to go for a bait. So yeah, go for the Rock Slide as a bait. Try to bait these shields out. Doesn't work. I'm like YOLO. About to go for this uh, Super Power. A lot of people have been hitting my uh, baits lately. It's really unfortunate. Superpower KOs him. I'm up two shields at his one shield. He brings Kyogre out. I just go for a rock slide just because it's gonna be doing neutral damage. I'm trying to chunk it, try, try to chunk the Kyogre down as much as possible before my Melmetal goes away. I should have went for that superpower. This is a perfect Kyogre, by the way, I can tell because it's 4115. I'm in a 1v2 situation right here. I have two shields left on my Togekiss, which is pretty good. So I obviously shield this. I choose not to shield the second one. Because just in case I don't know what he has in the back pocket, it could be, you know, what I, something that would be super effective, obviously. Oh, yeah, it was for Melmel. Duh, I, I knew that, actually. I knew that it was Melmetal. I uh, forgot. Go for the Ancient Power, hoping I get the boost. I do not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is one of the games I lose. I think this said I went 3-2, and two, but it was just some good gameplay. Like, I, think it was, I think I kept this gameplay because of the 4th and 5th game, because like I just did some crazy stuff that worked. Yeah, I definitely don't win this game here. Uh, GG's to them. Poor little Togekiss with the happy face. It's punched in the face. Alright, next opponent. BG Reckoning. I think this is the game where I just I'm going to laugh uncontrollably. All right, so it's a Togekiss lead. I'm like, all right, cool. And I, I decide to stay in because I was like, well, Kyogre can beat Togekiss in the neutral matchup, right? And and that's right. So I decide to opt into staying in this instead of just uh, switching out to Melmetal. And it's going to bite me in the butt really hard really quickly. So I obviously I shield this because I want to maintain. Go for surf. I over farm a little bit. So bring that exit drill, and I was like, "Oh crap!" So. I bring out. I think I bring out the Mel Metal right here. No, I bring out the Togekiss. Cause I, I was like, well, I can resist the. Uh, it's gonna be not very effective on the ground moves. This is before uh, King posted that video about his Exodrill. I was actually in his stream when that happened. It was great. He actually went four and one using Exodrill, and Exodrill is actually like ridiculously good. 
right here, I'm just like, uh, just switches to Groudon. Just, he's using double ground. So me not keeping Kyogre alive bit me in the butt really hard in the end. I definitely lose this game. It It's not even close. I, I start to panic and frantic here. I mean, what can I do? It's, 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 it's a Groudon it, with Exegil in the back. So he has a double ground thing, comp a, a team comp that I could, I could have won. Like I could have won this game if I just kept the Kyogre. If I just switched into Melmetal, if I switched into Melmetal against the Togekiss, I have a really good chance. Or even if I switched to Togekiss, if I just swapped into Togekiss versus Togekiss, I have a really good chance at uh, winning that, winning this game here. I just don't at all. Earthquake hits me. That's a perfect maxed out Groudon, by the way. Like, the Mud Shots aren't doing anything, but it doesn't really matter because he's going to get to his charge move before I get to mine. Hits me with the Earthquake. It's going to KO me. GG's to them for having an interesting strategy, a double ground composition. Uh, you don't see a lot of Groudon, but Groudon is pretty good. The problem with Groudon is he only has uh, 100 uh, energy moves, like like a one-bar move, I guess you want to call it, if you if you play like the PvE, not PvP. They're all a bunch of one-bar moves, like Solar Beam, Earthquake, Fire Blast, so it's really difficult to get it because it takes so long to get it. But he hits like a truck. He is he is he beams for sure. So I'm down one and two in the set. I was a little bit tilted from that because honestly, again, if I just switched off of Kyogre, I'd probably just win that game because Kyogre would have swept his whole team. Like Kyogre could have swept the entire team if he had like a different lead. But unfortunately he had the token kiss and I unfortunately I was cocky and I stayed into it instead of switching. My own toga kiss or something, but who would again? Who would have thought that he would have had double ground? So right here we're using Kyogre again, Guarantina Origin form, my favorite lead to ever see ever. I'm gonna shield this here because I'm I'm gonna I think it's Shadow Ball. It ends up being the Shadow Ball. I decide to switch out into toga kiss. I decide not to shield this one. Here's another Shadow Ball though, half health, Togekiss. He brings out his Togekiss. Go for Ancient Power. That was the best budded Togekiss too, by the way. He, he opts to shield that. KOs my Togekiss. Bring out the Melmetal. For rock slide. He stops not to shield that, takes the rock slide to the face. Get a couple of thunder shocks here. Now I I don't know why I went for superpower here. That was just bad. That was just a misclick on my part. But I I needed to I here comes Yaga, of course. So right now I'm like, I have to, I had to use a charge move because I was one, I was not enough energy from a rock slide. I needed to do one more thunder shock, but I just feel like he was going to have enough to have a shadow bar ominous win. I didn't want the, my mel metal to die. So I opted to, I didn't want to waste the shield. So I just went for the superpower. I mean, it was kind of a misclick, but at the same time it, it I, I had to do it. Right here, I go for another super power. We have no shields on table here. Back to back superpowers. This is a uh, wait. I don't think this. I don't know if this is post patch or not. I end up winning it back to back excellence. I end up winning this one. I'm yeah. They buffed actually the uh, fighting moves recently, which is really good. They made it way more consistent to get these excellence now instead of like these like weird random adjacent trying like these corners like it'll be like circle circle over here over here and you like it starts messing everything up and then you hit greats constantly instead of excellence they made them more can like condense in like a set area 
So it's definitely easier to hit Excellence now. All right, so now we're in the Kyogre versus Melmetal. Yet again, this is a favorable lead for me. Just be assuming they don't have Thunderbolt. Right, so this is just going to be Rock Slide. Do some neutral damage to me. I got better at counting like the, the, the fast moves, obviously. That just comes with playing a lot. I've done over like 250 Master League battles already. I don't mind Master League. Um, let me know in the comments which which league you prefer. I, I like to hear what you guys think. Obviously, I think Great League is the best, and it's not even close. It goes to me, Great League, Master League, then Ultra League. But uh, let me know what your favorite is. Do, do you like Master League? Do you, do you prefer Ultra League for some weird, stupid reason? Do you like Great League, obviously, like everyone else does? I'm able to farm down the Melmetal here. No shields versus no shields. Well, we didn't use shields, I should have said. Ne neither, neither one of us used shields. So I fire off the surf, hoping I hoping I uh, grab a shield before I go. Doesn't work, but I do chunk the Dialga just a little bit. Yo, Kyogre is a beast actually. Kyogre is so good. Go into the Memel Metal. Go for the Rock Slide just because I want to bait out the shields. I still have two shields as well, so this is gonna be a grind. This is gonna be like a grindy, uh, a grindy match here. They decided to switch into Garantina. I got Togekiss. This is not gonna look good for them. They decided to shield that. They decided to shield that, which was super interesting to me. I didn't, I, I wasn't really sure that they were going to do that. So, I'm up two shields to their <laughs> no shield. So I take the Iron Head, let it die, because I know Mel Mel's going to come out with a superpower on, like, already ready to go. Hit the Excellent, of course, like I said, just due to the recent uh, change to it. KO him. I beat them with two shields still up, which is insane. That 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 rarely happens. But hey, when you when you win the lead, you win the game. I mean, that's that was a standard BBML team, you know, the 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 Mel Metal uh, Diago Garantina. But I was able to counter them pretty hardly. So I end up going three and two. But that's pretty much it. Read the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time.